What's going on YouTube, Geosnari here. Today we have great news for those of you using emulators or virtual machines because JIT was finally achieved on iOS 18.4 after previously being patched by Apple. So this developer posted this, quote, JIT on iOS 18.4, a very tedious approach and might stop working in the future. You know what I mean. Now they provided the full code over here on how to achieve this. And yes, it uses split read, write and read execute regions and it works on iOS 18.4 beta one, but it's definitely not a clean method and it does need a lot of refining. However, it does work and this is a recognized developer in the community who has released things before. So we know it's a real thing. Now, as you probably remember, this was indeed patched back on iOS 18.3.1 when Apple changed a few things breaking JIT and you know traditional JIT methods like side JIT server. For those of you on iOS 17.0 up to 18.3 though, you can still use side JIT server in order to get that. And I do have a full guide here over on iDeviceCentral.com containing each step on how to install it, how to configure it, and how to get JIT running on your device. So if you're using emulators or virtual machines like UTM, you can do so no problem. So with this method over here, you're able to do that once again. The method, as I said, requires some polishing and it actually is quite tedious to implement. If you know what you're doing, you can get it to work. However, I'd wait for a proper tool to be made maybe from this at the moment, but it's nice to see a proper method being released after Apple patched it. Anyway, I'm going to show you a sneak peek on something I'm working on at the moment. It's called iDevice Toolbox and it's a tool containing various other tools for iOS and iPhones and so on all in one. Pretty much like 3U tools on Windows, but this one works on Mac OS as well. Right now I'm going to demonstrate the iOS app compatibility fixer. As you probably know, if you are jailbroken and you stay on a specific iOS version, many applications will eventually stop working. And this tool tries to fix that on some cases. This is not going to work with all applications, of course, because many of them require newer frameworks or libraries that are not present on your older iOS version. However, it will work for some apps and you can easily test it by dragging and dropping the IPA file. And of course, it will essentially create a brand new application patched for that to work. And um, this allows it to go all the way back to iOS 13. So it should add support for that. Although, as I said, it's not guaranteed to work on all cases. It also includes a ringtone maker application, a photo converter for HEIC format, which is the iPhone photos format. And you can get them to go to JPEG, PNG, WebP and BMP and so on. There are iOS modding tools over here, a CVE database containing the iOS vulnerabilities, newer iOS vulnerabilities as they appear, file Manager and many other things. You will be able to see battery uh, health information and so on. So I'm going to post the first beta in a couple of days. Stay tuned for that. This video was brought to you by 8K Sec. They provide you a course on how to find iOS vulnerabilities, how to create iOS exploits, and of course, build your own jailbreak. Definitely check out their course in the link below. They go in depth into the iOS kernel and security techniques. Thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.